This is the Camper Trailer String Art Kit Tutorial by String Art by Kaylee. To make the string art piece, you will need the string art kit, which you can order on my Etsy or Facebook group. You'll receive bundles of yarn in the colors of your choices and little flowers to stick in the window. You will also need a straight edge or a squeegee to put the vinyl lettering on and a pair of scissors. To start, you'll need just the board, and I would recommend a phone. We're going to take a picture of the board with the paper on. We will be removing the paper, so you'll lose all these lines. That picture is a good reference to what nails connect to what areas. Once you have taken your picture, go ahead and remove the paper. Once the paper is removed, it is time to start stringing. We are going to start with the curtains. I recommend just going ahead and taking your organza bags that have the yarn in them and removing all the bundles. And then go ahead and grab the yarn bundle and the color that you chose for your curtains. Taking the yarn strand that's wrapped around the middle, go ahead and unravel the bundle. With that same strand of yarn, we are going to make a loop up in the air this is how I like to tie my yarn onto the nails. With that loop, we will tuck it onto this nail right here and pull that yarn tight to create the knot. Throughout the entire string art process, it is very important that you're pushing that yarn down to the base of the nails. We will be adding a lot of layers onto these nails. We wanna make sure we have as much room as possible. And then we will go ahead and outline the section we're working in. I do this for every single area because we can see exactly where we're filling in. And again, making sure we're pushing that yarn all the way down to the base of the nails. And now we will start filling in our area. There's not a certain way to do this. You can kind of go in a pattern. You can kind of go all over the place. There's no rhyme or reason. The point is just to fill it in. It is important that we move in all different directions to help fill in all those little spaces. Another important thing to keep in mind as you are filling in areas, do not go past the halfway point of the length of the nails. A lot of these nails share two different sections and will have two colors on them. So we need to make sure we're saving room for the next section. This next step is optional. I like to add another outline at the top of the yarn on my areas that will not be covered by yarn again later on. So just the inner part of this curtain. Once you are finished stringing the area, it is time to tie off. Take your scissors and I would add two or three inches on the length of the yarn and cut and then make a loop just like in the beginning when we started and tuck it onto any one of the nails in that section. And then go ahead and pull that yarn tight to make the knot. Make sure you push that knot down as far as you can. And then what I like to do is take my scissors and trim that strand to about a half an inch. I just like to tuck these ends in to my yarn and it will help hold and secure that knot. So the first curtain is done, time to move on to the other side. You will just repeat the exact same process for this side. Make the loop, tuck it onto the nail, pull it tight, then we will outline the curtain, making sure you're pushing that yarn down as far as you can, and then filling in. And then it's optional to add this outline on the inner part of the curtain. We are only doing the inside because no other yarn will cover that area. And again, cutting that yarn about two or three inches left on that strand, making a loop, tucking on that nail, pulling it tight, trimming again, and tucking that end into the yarn. All right, so we started off easy. Now it is time to do this big middle section of the actual camper trailer. Grab the yarn bundle in the color that you chose, take that middle strand and unravel your bundle. The bundles are folded in half. If you want to, you can unfold the bundle to hopefully help prevent knots in your bundle. Unfortunately, they do happen, but this should help prevent it a little bit. Okay, so taking that strand that was wrapped around the center, we're doing the exact same steps as a curtain. We're making that loop up in the air, tucking it onto any one of the nails in this middle section and giving it an outline. For bigger areas like this, the outline is super helpful in seeing exactly where we are filling in. 
You don't need to do a loop around every nail, but I will every three or four nails just to help keep that yarn tight to the outlines. The outer outline is finished, so we'll zoom in and start to fill in until we get over to the window. Now with the window, we will jump on top of those pink layers and do the outline to show us not to go inside this area. You can see I'm on top of those pink layers. and then outline the bottom of the flower box. And now we will continue on filling in. Just making sure as you're going, you're pushing the yarn down as far as you can. This section will take a bit of time to fill in because it is larger. The amount of layers will depend on how full you like your teeth to look. I like to fill in all the gaps if possible. So it was probably four or five layers. Just make sure you're not passing that halfway point on the nails that will have future colors on them. Once you're over to this side, go ahead and outline the window and then carry on filling in. You're gonna go ahead and fast forward so you have to watch me string for five minutes. When you are all finished with your layers and you like how it looks, we'll go ahead and add a, another outline to this window. I like to go around the inner parts of the nails and then back around the outside just to give it a little more detail. And then with this section, you really only need the outline on both ends, left and right. So we'll just go down this side right here and then work our way back over to the other end and outline it. and outlining the window as well. I'm just trying to keep the pattern in this area, so I'm doing these diagonal vertical lines before I outline the window. And then adding the outline on this end as well. This section is finished, we'll go ahead and tie off. And here's a closer look at what it looks like finished. And then you can see there's at least half the length of the nails left for the next colors. The next areas we'll work on is the hitch and the wheel. For most people, it will be gray or else grab the color that you chose. This area is a little bit different as it is just a skinny horizontal line, this little vertical line, and then the ball. I recommend tying on one of the nails on the ball, give that an outline, and then go ahead and do the outlines for the horizontal and vertical line. I just weave up and down on these nails from bottom to top just to kind of help fill in that area and then give it an outline going across the bottom parts of the nails and the top parts. That probably didn't make a whole lot of sense. It's hard to explain, but you can kind of see it here as I'm doing it. And you're done with the skinny line, so go ahead and fill in the ball with a couple layers. Add an outline to the ball and tie off. Next, we'll move on to the wheel, which is just this little half moon shape. You do not need to add an outline to the wheel because all the nails will have another color on top of it later. Next, we'll do the flower basket. I am continuing on using the gray yarn you guys might have a different color yarn, go ahead and grab that and then fill this in. The flower basket is a little bit different in technique. We are going to not push the yarn down all the way on this top row of nails. You will leave a little space between the board and that yarn so we can stick some flowers in later.
And it is a little hard to see, but there is that gap so we can stick the flowers in later. The next section is the tire. Go ahead and outline and fill that in. You will be going over the top of those gray layers. next areas we will be working on are the top and bottom sections of the body. Go ahead and grab the yarn bundle that you're using for these areas. And just do the same steps that you've been doing in all the sections before. For this section, we will fill in the entire thing. We are going to pretend that these nails in this half circle are not here right now. And then when it's all filled in, we'll add a little bit more right there on top. Go ahead and add the outline to this area and then we will go back and fill in a little bit more on that half circle to give it a little more dimension. And then fill in the top section. This area is straightforward, so we'll skip ahead. The last section to string is the door. Just a basic rectangle with a diamond window that you will leave empty. I went ahead and gave this window a double outline as well on the inner parts of the nails and the outside. All of the stringing is done. Let's add our vinyl lettering. Go ahead and grab the lettering, turn it over, and then grab your straight edge or squeegee and slide it across the back to help push those letters on the transfer tape. And then with it still upside down, separate the backing from the transfer tape and slowly peel it off. Sometimes the lettering wants to stick to the backing, so we're going to go really slow, making sure it sticks to the transfer tape. And then flip it over, get it set in its place, make sure it's nice and straight, and then we will push it down. Just take that squeegee or your straight edge and slide it back and forth across the transfer tape to help make sure those letters are sticking to the board. And then you're going to slowly pull up the transfer tape. I like to pull it against the squeegee because it will help push the letters down as you're pulling the tape off. And now we are happy campers. Okay, so very last step is to take the flowers in the organza bag and we're going to put them in the flower box. This is super simple. You're just going to take a whole little bouquet and stick it right between the space between the board and the yarn. You will receive three to four little bouquets that you can stick in between each of the nails. 
do a little arranging and fluffing up of the flowers and you are all finished. I hope you enjoyed making your piece. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading a lot more tutorials. Thank you for watching.